Victoria's housing minister has reported a big increase in the number of registered rooming houses, six months into a crackdown on rogue operators. But as Josie Taylor reports, tenants and accommodation services say they're not seeing much of an improvement. Two weeks ago, Sean Murphy was late with his rooming house rent. The 20-year-old says his landlord then stole his belongings, became violent and kicked him out. It's dangerous living in a boarding house. You don't know what's going to happen, you know. Six months ago, the government committed to overhauling the sector. The housing minister says since then, the number of registered rooming houses has jumped by 42 per cent. More than 400 rooming houses have been inspected uh, and 13 have in fact uh, been closed. And he says a protocol has been set up with local councils to help tenants find accommodation if a rooming house gets shut down. The state government says it will introduce new laws by the end of the year to make rooming houses safer. They'll include mandatory fire evacuation plans and fire safe locks. But one community organisation questions why the laws aren't already in place. There has been some additional inspections by consumer affairs inspectors. We're still not quite sure what results that will yield. We continue to see quite serious breaches of the Residential Tenancies Act. One housing service agrees that while some good work has been done, government inspectors need to be more proactive. There still are a lot of problems within registered rooming houses. There's still a lot of violence. The housing minister says he wants to avoid rooming houses closing. We want to gradually put in place what are minimum standards. Sean Murphy says he'll never go back to a rooming house. Well, yeah, the living conditions are just as good at the jail, or if not better at the jail, than what they are in the boarding house. He's concerned for those who have no choice. Josie Taylor, ABC News, Melbourne.